Hey guys, Wolverine's here and welcome back to Final Fantasy Legend. In the last episode we started up the adventure, I told you my requirements and everything, and I did forget a couple of things. You can buy shields, but it's not equipment like helmets and such that have base use. They're actually like swords that have a durability counter because if you use a shield to defend to turn your attack, it increases your evasion and so technically it's considered an item use not a standard use or a passive use so also one more thing with the hp items if you ever see hp 200 hp 400 the number there shows how much hp go above without it and after you hit that certain point, like HP 200, after you hit 200, if you want to go above 200, you got to continue using them over and over again. Because that's the only time it's prerequisited, and you only get one point after 200. So I'm going to show you guys my stats. Um, as you can see, my strength was at like 19 when I used my final one, it jumped up to 25. And my agility was at 18 and jumped up to 22. My HP was at 198 and jumped to 213. So everyone has at least a little over 200 because of the jumps. And ironically, killers over here had perfect everything. And Jess was one over in strength. <coughs> Excuse me. Dancing is one over strength and two over in agility. So my characters are Wyvern, Killers D, a YouTuber I know. He's actually my brother. Dancing Dragon, my fiance. And just a random girl named Jess because I didn't know anybody else. Um, so yeah, that's my crew. They're all humans, which is very important. I stuck Dancing Dragon and Jess in the back. And I put mean killers in the front because in the in this game, characters in the front get hit more, so it's our job to protect the ladies. Because no one's hitting my fiance and getting away with it. So yeah, our first location is actually not that far. What we gotta do is come up here. Rock. Also, I'm gonna let you guys know. That I'm only going to be recording new enemy encounters. Other enemy encounters will be cut out. You might see a flash when I stop. And that'll be it. So let's keep going. So yeah, our town. Oh, you can walk through trees. But you can't walk through. Ah, so we got some meat here, guys. Uh, I was actually going to cut out this battle. But the importance is what this meat is. If you try to use it on a human or mutant, nothing happened. So it can only be used on monsters. Anyways, you can walk through trees, but you can't walk through mountains. It's very important. Ah, new enemy counters. Zombies. Anyways, that's very important just to let you guys know. So, yeah. 29 damage. And we defeated it. So, yeah, let's get going. This is known as the Town of Heroes. And if you come up here on this statue, you talk to it. Something's missing from this statue. Yeah, actually what happened was there was three kings. And they each took something off the statue. And now we got to get all three back to bring it back together. Because they all want to rule the world. Or this world. Houses with this icon are the houses of life. So yeah, go there if you're dead. Here's the inn, but I don't think we took any damage. No, we didn't take any damage, so we don't have to worry about that. What's this up here? It's just a random building. Houses with the potion on it are item stores, and the one with the sword are obviously weapon stores. So we're actually going to be buying something very important. We're going to buy four bronze helms. And we're going to buy four bows. Uh, first things first, I think we should equip this. So, yeah, we're going to give ourselves a bow. 
I know this looks weird, but I prefer to have my weapons all stacked up beside each other. Also, I did buy some potions for later in case we needed them on the road. Okay, so we still need three more bows. So everyone's going to get a bow because in case of our durability counter cuts, why'd I do that? We actually have another weapon for use. Um, normally I try to keep the lower grade items on the bottom so it's easier to remove and get rid of them. But that's just me. Also the bronze helm. It's very important. We'll give ourselves another bow. Put the golden armor in the bronze helm. Okay. So let's see what else we got. I think we can actually get some new equipment. Let's see what we got here. Bells and shockers I believe are for status elements and hearts. So nothing else. And that sucks. Fair enough, let's continue on our journey. I'm going to tell you guys right now that if you go through this castle right here, they'll just tell you to get out. So there's no point in going up that way. But let's come up this way and see what's up this way. Woo! Alright, that's actually pretty cool, no enemy encounters. Welcome, friend. The king would like to speak to you on the second floor. Well, at least this king's nicer than the other king of the castle we didn't join up or go visit. Let's see what the king has to say. By the way, guys, don't speed up the game if you're using the emulator because it speeds up too much and then you don't know what's going on. What's up? My lord, you look ill. What is wrong? I'm in love. Oh, who is the lady? She is a girl who lives in the south, but she wouldn't accept my proposal. <gasps> they gasp. Why not? I see. I may be able to help you for a reward. I'll give you anything you want. All the money plus your kingdom. I mean, that armor looks nice. That's right. Yeah, don't get off track, guys. We gotta get that armor. Even though this kingdom looks nice and it would be great to keep for our own. Alright, we, we gotta get the armor. So, yeah. Let's get out of here. Ugh. By the way, guys, I will not be showing when I'm in dungeons, like very large dungeons, or in dungeons, period. I will not be showing you all my way back, unless we get a new enemy encounter or something. As I was saying, ah, new enemy, goblins. Goblins are pretty cool. Not that hard. Anyways, as I was saying, the only time I will actually be showing me running out of a cave or a dungeon or leaving a cave or dungeon after we get to the end is if there's story plot or if there is some sort of like um, new enemy encounter. So nothing new here. It's just all bronze because this place apparently sucks. And believe it or not, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but these are not monsters. These are actually just women, I think. Anything up here? Oh, uh, that's the House of Life. So, this is from the south. So, uh, this girl looks all lonely. I have heard about you. Why did you turn the king down? Yeah, aren't you stupid? Bandit has threatened to destroy the village unless I accept his proposal. Well, I could see why now, but why does Bandit want you exactly? This chick look exactly like you, the chick on the other side of these trees look exactly like you. There is no difference. I mean, seriously. I mean, she looks like you, the only thing is she's in the water. So it makes me think these are all octopus monsters or something, who knows. 
Walking through the woods. All right, let's keep going. Stupid enemy encounters. So if you talk to these guys, you get in a battle with a couple lizards. Okay, let's keep going. What's up in here? Nothing. That was for nothing. That sucks. Let's keep going. Turn this way, and this way, and this way. I'm getting really tired of these battles, guys. These enemy encounters. It's like redonkulous. Okay, so if you come up Ah, an albatross. New enemy. Sweet. So, albatrosses are weak altogether. Won't open. Well, be damned. Okay, I'm getting really tired of that. So, I'd be damned that doesn't work. It's closed. So, let's come on up bump in here. See what we got. <clears throat> Ah, so who are you? Who said you could enter? I did. Forget about the girl. No way. And now we get to fight P-Frog. I don't want to know what the P stands for. So we're just going to smash the hell out of this guy. Because this guy does not look hard at all. So, yeah. And we won. Spare me. You should have said that before. Alright. I'll be right back, guys. I'll see you back at the King's Castle. Alright, guys. We're here back at the castle. And let's get going. So now we got to talk to the king. Now that we finished off the bandit. Because the lady will come straight to the castle. Because apparently she knows everything we do. Because she stalks us. So let us continue. Apologize if you heard that in the back. That's my dog being weird. Thank you. We are glad we could help. But are we still entitled to a reward? Hmm. Hmm. What do you desire? Well, we would like the armor. I see. And we get the king armor. So that's literally it. So I think that's going to be it for now, guys. In the next episode, I'll meet you back in the first town we started in. In the town of heroes. So right now, this is the Wyvern signing out. Later, guys.